Welcome to the second episode of Lock On Dogs Footy, and today we're going to be reviewing the opening round and also making our predictions for rounds one and two because I'll be away next week reviewing the opening round. Sydney versus Melbourne. I had Melbourne by six points. At the end, it was Sydney by 22 points. Sydney played very well in the second half, although the first half looked dull and boring. Jack Vining looked very good for Melbourne in the midfield, while Isaac Haney looked good in the midfield for Sydney. The one I was very disappointed with was Errol Golden. What a comeback by Carlson in the opening round. What an upset. I had Brisbane by 24 points, but it looked like that way, but the Blues came back and went by a point. Best players that day were Harry Mackay and Charlie Kerner. They kicked seven goals between them for Carlton. Best player for Brisbane was Dane Zorko. What an impressive game from the Gold Coast. They were up by 70 points at one stage against Richmond. And that's Richmond. I don't know what's going on with them. I think Dusty Martin should have left. Like, uh, Matty Rowe looks very good. He had 20, 20 clearances. Uh, I reckon he might be, one of the, might be up there to, for the Brownlow Medal in 2024. GWS looked very good in the opening round. They won by 32 points against running Premier's Collingwood. And they, they make running Premier's Collingwood look like they're playing under Nathan Buckley again. That's it for our opening round predictions. And now we are about to predict round one. And the first game of the round one, it's Carlton versus Richmond at the MCG. I got Carlton by 60 points. Best players, I reckon it'll be Paddy Cripps and George Hewitt from Carlton. And for Richmond, although he didn't play last week, I've got Dustin Martin. Second game at the MCG, we've got Collingwood at Sydney. I reckon the Magpies will bounce back to win by two points. Best players, I'm going with Nick Dacos and his brother Josh Dacos for Collingwood. For the Swans, I'm going with Errol Golden. Third game at the MCG, Essendon Hawthorne. I got Essendon by four points. Best players, I'm going with Zach Merritt and playing his first game for his new club, Xavier Dersma. He'll have a point to prove after he left Port Adelaide. Hawthorne, my best player I'm going with is John Newcomb. Next game, we've got GWS versus North Melbourne at the newly renamed NG Stadium. I've got GWS by, uh, how do you say, 98 points. Best players I'm going with is Toby Green, Tom Green, Lockie Whitfield, and 10 goals from Jesse Hogan. The newly rebuilt retirement home at GMHBA Stadium with the Joel Selwood room being open. I've got St Kilda winning by 10 points. Best players I'm going for the Saints are Jack Steele and Jack Higgins. Geelong, i got Ollie Henry. Now we're at the newly renamed People First Stadium in the Gold Coast between Gold Coast and Adelaide. For the game, I've got a draw. Best players, I'm going with Matt Rowell and Ben Keane for Gold Coast. For Adelaide, i got Jordan Dawson. We are starting off Sunday with Melbourne versus Western Bulldogs. i got Melbourne by 10 points. Best players for Melbourne, i got uh, Jack Viney and Christian Petrarca. Western Bulldogs, i got Marcus Bontepelli. Next game, we've got Port Adelaide versus West Coast at Adelaide Oval. i got Port Adelaide by 104 points. Best players, i got uh, Zach Butters. Connor Rosie, first game as Port Adelaide captain, and I've got Jeremy Finlayson kicking eight goals up forward. It's going to be an easy game for Port Adelaide and a long flight home from West Coast. Fremantle versus Brisbane at Optus Stadium in Perth. I've got Fremantle by six points and an upset. Best players for Freo, I've got uh, Andrew Brayshaw and Luke Jackson. Brisbane's best player I'm going with is Josh Dunkley. The, it, I've got a feeling Brisbane have a bit of weakness in them. Caden Coleman's just torn his ACL. Their back line's not going to look very good. And also, I reckon the reason why I've got Freo winning this game because it's a bit of a trend every year. Every year, Brisbane win against the Dockers in Perth. Freo usually win the next game. For our round one predictions, and now we're on round two. We've got St Kilda versus Collingwood at the MCG. It is a Collingwood home advantage. And then it's St Kilda's only home game at the MCG. And I've got Collingwood by 10 points. Best players for Collingwood, I got it, Nick Dacos and Darcy Moore. For St Kilda, I got Seb Ross. And it's gonna be a good win for Collingwood. Adelaide and Geelong, I got Adelaide at Adelaide Oval Friday night. I got Adelaide by 48 points. Best players for Adelaide, I got it, Jordan Dawson, Rory Laird, and coming back from his absence, Tex Walker. I reckon 
it's going to be an easy game for Adelaide, and I don't think Geelong are going to do very well at Adelaide Oval. North Melbourne versus Fremantle at Marvel Stadium. This will be the first game back at Marvel Stadium since, since peak summer carnival tour happened earlier this year. I've got Fremantle by one point. Best players that game are going with is Luke Davies, Uniac, and Harry Sheasel for North Melbourne. For Fremantle, I've got Andrew Brayshaw. For, mo- for the game, I reckon North Melbourne will lead for most of the game, and then... And then a late goal from Luke Jackson will give Fremantle a one-point win. Hawthorne versus Melbourne at the MCG. I've got an upset, Brewery. I've got Hawthorne by two points. Best players for Hawthorne have got Mabel Choll and Jack Jenneman. For Melbourne, I've got Christian Petrarca and Max Gorn. I reckon Max Gorn will have a great game because Hawthorne have got Ned Reeves in the ruck. And I reckon, Mel- I reckon this will go neck and neck. Hawthorne will grab a late winner. That will be their first win against Melbourne in nearly 10 years. Sydney versus Essendon at the SCG. Oh, boy, there's been a rivalry between these two whenever they go to Sydney. Got Sydney by two points. Best player for the Swans, I've got Isaac Heaney and Brody Grundy. For Essendon, I've got Zach Merritt. There, is a, there has always been a close game ever, whenever the two teams face each other at the SCG. Bulldogs versus Gold Coast at Mars Stadium in Ballarat. And I've got Western Bulldogs by 10 points that game against the Gold Coast. My best players for the Bulldogs, I've got uh, Marcus Bontempelli and Aaron Norton. Gold Coast, I've got Noah Anderson. The Bulldogs should be able to, Bulldogs should be able to get a win in Ballarat, although they play very good football when they play in the country. Next up, we've got Richmond and Port Adelaide at the MCG. I've got an upset brewing. I've got Richmond by four points. <coughs> Just kidding! Port Adelaide by 52 points. Best players for Port, I've got a... Uh, Connor Rosie, Zach Butters, and Todd Marshall. And I reckon, um, I reckon Port Adelaide will win that game. And around to West Coast and GWS at Optus Stadium. I've got GWS by 104 points. Best players for GWS have got a Stephen Canelio, uh, Josh Kelly, and Jesse Hogan again, but he'll kick 10. Oh, uh, it's, it's, it's going to be a long season for West Coast. It's going to be a great year for GWS. I reckon this is this is only going to be the start of Harley Reid wanting to go home. That wraps up the second episode of Lachlan Does Footy. We next, we'll be back in two weeks to review round one and two and to predict round three. Thanks for watching.